Hello and welcome to Hampson Russell Software. In this video we're going to go over the basics of loading data into the new version of software. The first thing we're going to do is create a new project. Then we're going to open an existing well database, load logs, load seismic, and finally load horizons. The first thing you're going to notice when you go to load data into the new Hampson Russell version of software is prior you would create a well database first and then a project. Now we're going to create a project first. So I click the button Create New Project. When it opens up, I give my data set a name. So I'm going to call this Data Loading and say OK. By default, the software wants to generate a well database with the same name as the project, which is fantastic. Except in this situation, I actually have a database already created. So I'm going to say Specify Database, Open goes to the location I want, I specify my already loaded database and say OK. Now I have the name of my project and my new database and I say OK. The software opens up and over here on the left you can see all of the wells I already have loaded into this particular project. On the left side of the screen under Project Manager this is what I like to call your toolbox and this is where we're going to be focusing for this video because this is where you see a listing of all of your seismic loaded all your seismic wells, horizons, models, whatever your data is in your project plus this is where you load data. For instance if I need to load a well I go to the well tab I say import well. If I need to load seismic I go to the seismic tab import seismic. Back here on the well tab I have my existing well database but I'm missing one well so I'm going to actually load it in as an LES I'm over here in my toolbox, Project Manager, Import Well, Load Wells Check Shots. Here's my file. I say Select. And at this point, if I say OK, the LAS file will be loaded exactly as is, which if you're very confident in your, in your data, is a very fast, quick, efficient way to do it. But if you want to see the traditional windows so you can see your log types and your log mapping, you hit the Advanced option and the software moves on as usual as it had in prior versions of software. This is all correct. I choose next, double check all of my log types and units, they're correct. I say next, that is all good, and OK. Now my log is actually loaded and it was log 917. It was missing from my list. It's now all here. So loading an LAS file is as simple as can be is going to your project manager, you choose the well tab, and you choose import well. Now that my wells are loaded, I need seismic, so I simply go to the seismic tab. I say seismic, import segwi from file. Here's my segwi volume. I say select, next. It is a 3D, next. All this information is correct for my data set. I say next. In this situation, my byte locations are all correct, but if you need to double check your byte locations, you have a header editor button right here. You can look at your line header, you can look at your trace header. At this point, normally you would choose next. If I choose next, the software does its traditional double scan, where it scans the headers the first time, comes up with the geometry, shows you the geometry page. If you like the geometry page, you say OK and it scans them the last time and you're done. If you're confident that your geometry is correct and you don't need to spend time doing the second scan, you simply say OK and the software will do the double scan for you. This is just our standard message saying it's going to scan and we say yes. Software does one, two scans and my seismic's loaded. My traditional well map table menu which is all filled in meaning the XY's for my wells found locations on my seismic. I say OK and my seismic's loaded. If I want to see a base map of this, traditionally you just go to view, base map. The base map opens up. I can see where all my data is. I can see all my well locations. You can always double click on a well location and the seismic window will update but a really nice tool here in the new version of software is this little well icon over here. If I choose this little pull down, I have all my wells listed. I just choose the well name and the data automatically pops 
to that given well location. So I'll move around a few more. Makes it very nice and easy to find your wells. So quickly and very easily in Hampson Russell, we've created a new project. We linked this project to an existing well database. And then we came over here to the well tab on the left and we loaded in a new well by simply saying import well. When we're done with that, we went to seismic. We loaded in our seismic by simply saying import seismic. You can see your seismic under the seismic tab and you can see a bunch of your well information under the well tab right here. Very intuitive, very easily to move around. Now, we're going to load in a horizon. So you can always pick a horizon or you can import a horizon. In this case we're talking about data loading so we're going to import a horizon. So I say import file opens up. I choose my horizon file I say select and I say next. Pulls up a standard import window. I want to view my file so I know what my data is and what I'm dealing with. It pulls up and you simply start filling in the answers. I have inline and cross line. This is a post stack. I need to skip four. Uh, excuse me. I have two horizons, Manville and Lower Manville, in my file. And I need to skip four lines to get started. Inlines are in column one. Cross lines are in column two. I'm going to make this a little wider. My data in column three is actually, I'm going to rename this, is called Manville. And my data in column four is actually called Lower Manville. That's all correct. I want it to reference this geometry. You can hit advanced. There's always more things you can choose. I'm going to change the color before I go on. But in this case, I can just say OK. And the horizon imports. Go to my seismic window. Pull the window down. There's my two horizons on my seismic data with my well. I can jump to any well in my survey and see a similar thing. So loading data into, into the new version of Hampson Russell is very intuitive and very easy. You go to the left. You go to the project manager, which I like to refer to as my toolbox. You choose your project tab. And whatever the data is you want to load, you just choose its tab on the left and then choose import at the bottom. If you're wanting to know or see a good listing of all the data you have existing in a project, of course these tabs are very nice, but also if you go to the data explorer, which is up here at the top, this is your typical data explorer you're used to seeing. You can choose your well explorer. It'll list out all of your well information. You can choose a little blue arrow, shows you your logs, you click it again, it shows you your well log information. Got base maps over here on the right, zoom in tools, history files, all sorts of stuff over here. If I go to my seismic data explorer, it would list out all the seismic volumes I have. You can scroll this across the bottom, you can find your data locations, you automatically see geometries, you can jump to base maps, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Likewise, horizons. All of your data is listed under your Data Explorer, and your you have accessibility to it here. So I hope this video gives you a starting point for getting your data loaded into the new version of software. Um, when you start, I hope you find it very easy and very intuitive, because it is. You get your project open, you generate your new project, you specify an existing well database or make a new one. And as you have prior, you can load logs in from other databases, copy them in, move them out. You can load everything from LAS. If you want to load from LAS, you just choose your well tab. You say load. You need to lo load your seismic. Choose your seismic tab. You say load. Horizons. Choose your horizon tab. And you say import. I hope you enjoy the new version of software. And we're looking forward to talking to you. Thank you.